today we're reviewing a car from a brand that became really popular with our generation um, because of the movie The Italian Job. The Mark Wahlberg one. The Mark Wahlberg one, not the boomer version, the Mark Wahlberg one. Um, but okay, so we have the car today. The car is the Mini Cooper S Clubman, yes. which is a facelifted version. Yes. So yep. for the facelifted version, what you get are new headlamps, a new designed front grille. Yeah, I like the grille. Yeah, it's, it's much longer and taller. Fuller. Yeah, but the bottom part is actually fake. It's a passenger bumper. The real grilles are just the top portion. Uh, new stuff is also new wing mirrors, a new shape much rounder and for the rims and the tail lights they are designed their design is inspired by the union jack flag ah i'm excited to review it man okay shall we check out the boot yes let's go check out the boot the mini cooper s club man is just under one hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. the two liter turbocharged engine produces 189 brake horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque the seven-speed Steptronic Sport transmission brings the car from zero to 100 in 7.2 seconds. For more details on the Mini Cooper S Clubman or any other car, head on down to sgcarmart.com to make a smart choice on your next car. So to open the boot of the Cooper S Clubman, it's very easy. You just have to stand here like so, kick your leg in, boom, it comes out. Another time, boom, it comes out. Do note, if you're standing too close, it won't open. But if it does, it might hit things that, you know, you don't want to be hit. Uh, inside the boot, we have 360 litres of boot space. If you need more space, you can always pop open the secret compartment here for more space. Uh, let's take out the parcel shelf. Okay, never mind. Uh, another cool feature of the boot is you can actually just like lift it up like so and it will stay there for more space. Cool. Uh, let's see how it fits like luggage. And anti trolley, which will definitely not pass the anti trolley length test, but we put it this way as usual, it'll fit. If you need more space, however, you just need to like push the seats down like this and that's 1,250 litres of boot space. Yeah, so it's a decent amount of space. And time to do the back seat review. So <laughs> sitting at the back of the Cooper S Clubman, it's just going for space and you can feel it. Like, I'm in a mini. How, where else can you say I'm in a mini? And like I have decent leg room, decent head room, and decent, eh, decent toe. Only in the clubman. And uh, things I like about the back seat, it is ambient lighting on the handles. I think they have it in all the handles, but like it's just, ergonomically, it's just very weird. Like I have to like bend my arm like this to open the door. Like, wouldn't it have been better if it was like the other way and I just like open it like so? Mini, something to think about. Uh, we also have side netting here. I mean, storage space here. And a nice deep cubby hole here. And rear AC, that sucks. Because the AC is on full blast right now. And it's full blast here and I can barely feel it. Come on, it's Singapore. I'm dying. And we also have two uh, USB ports here to charge your phone. Other good things about the boot, the ISOFIX points are very easy to get to. Nice. And the armrest is here. Cup holders are here. And if you need extra space because you have like elongated furniture or like long pieces of, I don't know, long things, you can just bring down here, there's access to the boot. Yeah, sweet, practical, I like it. And everything feels nice and plush and soft to the touch. It's a decent boot. But let's see how it fits three people at the back. A few moments later. So now that three of us are at the back, 
I must say the transmission tunnel is really wide, so my my legs are really spread out. And John's like trying not to touch me, and he's scrunched up over here. He's fine. Three people at the back, nah. Two people is fine, but three people at the back, nah. And 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 the seat is really hard as well in the middle. Right, John? Mm. Hmm? To the front. When you get into the club, man, you feel that this car exudes personality and quirkiness. And it is also unabashedly a mini. What do I mean? Just look at the number of circles. Look, the infotainment unit is encased in this circle thing. The speedometer and rev counter is not inside an instrument cluster. It's just standing on its own and it focuses on how round and big the speedometer is. Even the door handles, it's this round design. It's a very mini design and I like it. Looking at the multi-function steering wheel, not many functions, just cruise control and buttons to control your radio and tracks. And then on the signal stock, a button to, sh to toggle between the different basic information displayed on the speedometer. Interior fittings, I like it. There's nice soft touch materials, makes the car feel premium. There are some plastic bits, including this paneling here. What's cool about this paneling is at night, it lights up with ambient lighting and it follows the color here. So for example, nice lime green, and I can toggle it to be calm, green, teal, blue, bluer, like party disco lights. But no partying and discoing now. You know, social distancing, be responsible. Anyway, moving down to the infotainment unit. It's quite small, I think it's seven inches. My phone is bigger. But anyway, it's easy, easy to control with this knob or it, it is touchscreen enabled, so you can use a touchscreen. But it was quite hard for me to set up my Apple CarPlay. However, when I did, it's available wirelessly, so that's great. But being a BMW, there's no Android Auto. I have no idea why they don't have Android Auto. Moving down, the dual zone climate control uh, aircon is controlled by these knobs. I love it because it's easily understandable. One cool thing though is that there is an aircon vent up here. So if you want to circulate air, the hot air that accumulates here, you can, you can do so. Moving down, I love these rally car style or old airplane style switches to uh, start and stop your engine, switch on and off your traction control, and obviously switch from normal mode to sport mode at the flick of the switch, like, like that. Wow, it feels so sporty. Anyway, all in all, I love this cabin. The seats are nice and comfortable. The bolsters are firm but not too hard, so it cups you nicely as you take those corners. So yeah, so let's how, see how this car drives. So there's a two litre engine in this car, right John? Two litre turbocharged Two litre turbocharged, yes. yes. And does it really feel like two litres? Like, I feel like it feels like more, you know, yes. the way it drives, it feels like it's, it's 189 brake horsepower and 280 Nm meters of torque. But it's the way they they paired it with the seven speed uh, dual class transmission. Mm -hmm. Power is available on tap, and you're very assured because the, the way they, they, they engineered this car, I, I, I don't know, it's it feels very planted, very assured, very hunkered down. And when you just step on it, wow, see, power just comes and you go around the gentle bend. It's it's no problem at all. Uh, it's very reassuring. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't feel like scared or anything. It's like, yeah, it's nice. But I can tell that you really love this car, John. Yes, this car. I think everybody can tell. Just makes driving fun. I see. Yeah, I and, see. And, and and this is what this car is supposed to be. It's a Cooper S. It's supposed to make you want to, you know, have more fun with the car, throw it around corners, and then tap on the accelerator a bit more. And this car delivers it in loads. You know, it's so much fun. I, I, I love the drive. I love the engine. Yeah, handling wise, as I said, mm. it's, it's so well put together, so hunkered down. The steering is direct. You know, you point, and as Julian say, it's point and shoot. It's not numb. You can feel everything that uh, is being translated from from the steering wheel to the tires and, and onto the road, and then Very from, wholesome the, feeling. from the road back to to your hands. You know, you just mm. know where this car is going to go while you're going around the bends and oh, it's such a reassuring feeling and so fun to put it around corners. Eh, hey, ask you ah. Uh, yeah. 
many paying you. Uh. <laughs> no eh. It okay. sounds like okay. Like to, it's a, to be it's honest, a paid, okay. Paid to, thing. to be very frank, I've never driven a mini before. And yeah, I, I grew up in the generation that actually saw the very old, super popular type of mini, real minis. The, the Mr. Bean Mini. The Mr. Bean yeah. Mini, driven on the roads. And when I first saw BMW make this new one, uh, I just thought, this is not a mini, it's huge, yeah. it's German. Uh, how can it be fun? You know? But then when I sat in here yesterday and you started... actually drove the thing. Yeah, I, I think, okay, like, the generation that, that really loves the old Mini, they, they are going to slowly not be able to drive anymore and when new young people start to drive and they get into this mini okay they they will un- they will enjoy this car you know there's there's no there's no baggage of history uh, right. uh when it comes to driving this car you know if you if if you told someone if you gave this car to someone who doesn't know about the old mini and you let them drive it mm. i'm pretty sure they'll like they'll like driving this car Okay, I suppose. Yeah, but okay. Uh, enough about engine and handling. Yeah. Comfort. How how do you feel about the car? You're a big man. <sighs> Comfort. Okay, sitting in the passenger seat, it's a bit small to be honest. Uh, I prefer to be at the back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's more space at the back. Yeah. But I mean, everything's soft to the touch, and I just don't like the whole like area here it's, there's a lot of things going on the centre console well, yeah the centre console there's like so many buttons it looks like a cockpit of like an aeroplane and like yeah I guess with the switches it does remind you of an aeroplane it makes you want to touch it you know okay okay but I won't lah don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you man uh, the complaint that I have is the aircon the aircon is oh, weak yes. the aircon is so weak yeah oh, uh, we're sweating. dying sweating it's so Singapore. Mini, come on, man. Yeah. We need like uh, Asian Asian car aircon. Yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. I think Julian has a point. The Japanese really know how to make air conditioners for, for cars. Uh, that's just what they're good at. Uh, it's, I really feel very warm in here. And the aircon vents are small, you know, and... And the range of motion is not much also. Yeah, right? okay. I must say the, the, the louvers feel a bit cheap. And the aircon is just weak. <sighs> but you can blast the aircon. We are we're, we're just not blasting it because we are recording. No, even when we blasted it just now, is is very. E, e, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Something I, to tweak, mini. Like every other week, we have will buy, won't buy, and go or go try the Mini Cooper Club, uh, Mini Cooper S Club Men. Yes. And we all know what John's going to choose. So, let me think for just a fraction of a second. Yep, okay, I got it. Okay. Ready? In three, two, one. Go Won't try. Won't buy. Huh? No, we'll buy. We'll buy. What I, the I, just, I just wanted to surprise you. What the heck? Okay, we'll, we'll buy for me. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. I'm still in shock for the one buy. <laughs> okay, uh, so, yep. Why will buy? I mean, you've said it okay. all already. Just summarize it. At $155,000. Around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are cars that are more practical. Mm-hmm. There are cars with better engines. But why will buy? Because it's how this car drives. This car is just so fun to drive. Um, the, the transmission is great. The handling is direct and great. Right. It really makes driving fun. And I want to make my commute, daily commute, fun. I don't want to make my daily commute uh, practical or just mindless power this this and this car has a lot of person- personality and quirk I know the center console can be a bit complex or complicated looking on first look but after half a day with it it just blends into the background yeah, and kind of used to it like. yeah you, you get used to it and yeah it's just so fun to drive I, I don't know how else to explain to you why I will buy this Mini Cooper S Clubman despite it's just the, for you, it's basically it's fun. It's a fun drive, like. Yeah, the, the alternatives out there. Yeah, yep. this is a fun car to drive, and very little cars that I've driven makes driving fun. Yeah. And okay. How, how about you? So for me, it's a go try. Um, simply because, let's face it, if you're thinking of getting the Mini Cooper S Club, man, you're not getting it for the space, lah. I mean, you, if you want space, right? 
you can get cars that are more affordable and bigger, okay. right? You're basically buying into the minivan if you want to buy this car. Okay. And that's just not for me, lah. I mean, mini is not my thing, lah. I, I sat in there. I mean, yeah, it's comfortable to be in. Uh, admittedly, it's a uh, it's an upgrade from uh, the previous Clubman. Okay. Right. But you have to go and try it to to figure it out to see whether you like it because. I don't know. It's a it's a personal preference thing. It's like beer. You know, some people hate beer. Some people love beer. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. So that was our review of the Mini Cooper S Clubman. Don't yeah. forget to like comment down below on whether you will buy, won't buy, or go try the Mini Cooper S Clubman. And subscribe. And subscribe to us, please. Yes. So let's read some comments. Let's read some comments. Okay, so we have Nicole Kuno, who says, so in love with this John plus Idris pairing. Oh, this is the- Finally talk about me. This is the first of your review vids that made me low. Please make this pairing a mainstay and keep up the good work, guys. P.S. This format's okay la. Unfortunately, this uh, the Format's new dead. format passed away, and it was Idris carrying carrying me. Uh, I'm I'm not that fun. I must admit the video is pretty good. Yeah, yeah Idris yeah. is just good. And uh, Tam says, amazing video. You deserve more views. I don't think we deserve just more views. We deserve more subscribers as well, right, John? Yes. Yeah. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Thanks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching.